you frustrate me. Coming up next on Pastor Bob's Coffee Break. From an old hymn, it is well with my soul. One of my favorite hymns, by the way. And I'm having a little Headbangers Brew in that mug. Our newest blend called Jamaican Me Looney. And it's our Jamaican blend. Very, very good stuff. And folks, you can get that in all of our nine blends of coffee. You can get them in regular bags and K-cups and five-pound bags. All of this and more t-shirts, posters, mugs, all this stuff right here. We are MetalWearFamily.com. Dear Pastor Bob, I spend a lot of my time being frustrated. The smallest thing can set me off. I get upset with the stupidity of people the state of the country, and people who feel entitled beyond decency and moral judgment. I know there are many things that should concern us, but how do I find the balance with this so I'm not always on edge? Doesn't this really demonstrate kind of how people are feeling in the world today? We get frustrated, and just read the news, you get frustrated. You watch the way people are, you get frustrated, and there are our pet peeves, and and it seems like if you have a pet peeve, there's always somebody there to push your buttons. You know what I'm saying? I have my buttons too. And most of them come out when I'm driving, to be honest. There are those people, those people that, um, that don't use their turning signals. That's my biggest one. And I've had so many near accidents just because people don't use turning signals anymore, at least here in Nashville. Or people that enter the interstate. Now, you know when you enter the interstate, you should be going the speed of the, inter of the interstate once you're on it. But people that enter it at 40 miles an hour and then they, they kind of speed up eventually and they halt all the traffic that's trying to move through that's already been going the speed limit, which is usually 70. And there we go. And, you know, there are times when I wish I had a long arm in my car that could stretch way out and just slap everybody. I know. Come on. Get with it. <laughs> we all have our little things, don't we? Our little pet peeves things that make us a little frustrated. And uh, I'm sure you have yours too. But what do you do with them? And how do you handle them? I want you to go with me to Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Some great advice here. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything. That's a nice way to start. And you think, well, easy for you to say. Yeah. But in every circumstance and in everything by prayer and petition, in other words, definite requests, specific, with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. And what happens as a result of doing that? God's peace, it says, shall be yours. That tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ, and so fearing nothing from God and being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that peace, which transcends all understanding, shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Now there's the promise. If you have anxiety about every, about anything, it says don't fret, don't have anxiety. You don't have to. Because in every circumstances, you have a way out. What is the way out? Prayer, petition, definite requests, thanksgiving. Make your requests known to God. 
And when you do that, you lift them off of yourself and you place them where they need to be on God because he's the one that wants to care for you. And when you do that, God begins to give back. And the Bible says here, he gives you his peace. That tranquil state of your soul, assured of its salvation through Christ. And so fearing nothing from God and being content with your earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that peace will be with you. And it'll mount guard over your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. Folks, this is the way it works. And the more my mind is focused, and as they say, my mind is stayed on him, the less focus I have on other things that would ordinarily be a pet peeve. And if you're going through this kind of anxiety, and as our, as our viewer said, always on the edge and being frustrated about the smallest things, and you'll always find something to be frustrated about. If you switch your mind from the frustration to your blessings, that's a big deal. And it'll change the way you live your day. It honestly will. Folks, don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing. Hello, Metal family. So I'm excited for the next Immortal Fest. Such great bands, such great people. I hope you're going to be one of them. I'll be there hosting both events this summer. Really excited to spend time with the bands and to spend time with you. Sunday at the first event on the 28th of July will be the Sanctuary Day. We're gonna have a service, we're gonna have our worship team, we're gonna have some special guests. We're gonna have a good time. And I hope that you plan to come and some surprises still to come too. So both events, 1st of July, 26th to 28th, and the other the first week of September. Great bands, great time together, family time. We are metal, we are family. I hope to see you there.